Stormwater can threaten homes and businesses and can overwhelm sewage systems, creating pollution in nearby waterways. These can be expensive challenges. As communities look for solutions to these challenges, many are embracing the cost-saving benefits of green infrastructure. Green infrastructure can prevent floods and protect waterways from pollution, but how does it accomplish this? The way that green infrastructure works may seem a little mysterious because some of its most important functions are happening below the surface. If we could look into the soil, we could see that these functions are really pretty simple. Though the sizes, shapes, and designs of these landscapes may vary a lot, all green infrastructure is designed to do the same thing. Intercept water and hold it temporarily so that stormwater and sewage systems won't get overwhelmed. What makes this function so important is the fact that, in many cities, stormwater flows in the same system as the sewage. When too much stormwater enters these combined systems, the sewage treatment plants may not be able to keep up causing untreated sewage to overflow into waterways, back up into basements, and flood into streets. By intercepting stormwater, green infrastructure reduces the amount that enters the sewage systems, preventing this combined sewage overflow. We can see one simple strategy for keeping stormwater out of sewage systems by looking at how we treat rainwater that falls on our homes. As rain runs down the roof, into the gutter, and through the downspout, it may dump directly into a drain along the side of the house. This drain is typically connected to the city's stormwater system. With homes across the city using the same type of downspout drainage, the amount of water added to the system adds up quickly. And this is all added to the water that is draining from the streets, which is combined with the sewage from homes and businesses. Fortunately, many communities have created downspout disconnection programs, encouraging homeowners to redirect the water from their rooftops out of the stormwater system. It may be as simple as just directing it away from the house and into a lawn work and slowly soak into the soil. In some cases, people may enhance the appearance and function by creating a shallow basin and adding a selection of native plants. These rain gardens can collect more water and include attractive native plants with deep roots that allow the water to better soak into the soil. This may be just a small area of the yard or a larger, deeper installation. Storm water can sometimes accumulate temporarily, but well-designed and maintained rain gardens should allow the water to soak into the soil within a few days after a heavy rain. Bioswales are another type of green infrastructure. They are typically installed along roads and parking lots to catch the runoff from these impervious surfaces. Like rain gardens, they reduce the flow of water into stormwater systems by allowing water to infiltrate the soil. But they also function to direct water to other areas of the stormwater system, such as a bioretention basin. They are typically designed with multiple layers, including a layer of stone at the bottom with an embedded drainage pipe that moves the water. The native plants in the other layers of the bioswale not only slow down the water to prevent it from overwhelming the system, they also filter the water, removing pollutants to protect waterways. These green infrastructure installations are as varied as the communities in which they're found. Sometimes the benefits of green infrastructure can be achieved with several small installations. Sometimes it's a combination of various types and sizes. It must be customized to meet the demands of the area where it is built, so don't expect any two to look exactly alike. Despite these differences, there are certain elements that function the same way in each, such as drains and curb cutouts that allow water to flow into them from streets or parking lots. Some green infrastructure is designed with overflow outlets to handle more severe rain events. When water exceeds a certain level, it reaches these outlets and is directed elsewhere so that it won't cause flooding. These overflow outlets may direct the water to the conventional stormwater system, or they may overflow into another part of the green infrastructure system. Some green infrastructure may include stone that prevents erosion by slowing down fast-moving water. As with other kinds of infrastructure, green infrastructure requires maintenance. This maintenance may include occasional trimming and weed control, but it also involves checking the stone, curb cutouts, and overflow outlets to make sure that water is moving into and out of the areas it was designed to do. With this maintenance, green infrastructure can do its job of intercepting and temporarily holding water, protecting homes, businesses, and waterways.